And I'd like to in introduce Maki Kokanda again, who will be uh, presenting on the effects of task repetition, EFL, learners, presentation skills. Over to you, Makiko. Okay, thank you, Matt. Uh, thank you for coming uh, to my presentation. Uh, my name is Makiko Kanda. Uh, I had been teaching English at high schools for 38 years, and now I have been teaching at universities about four years. Okay, let's begin my presentation on effect of task repetition on, on EF learners' uh, presentation skills. I conducted this research in 2019 because I wanted to investigate how task repetition would help beginner level students improve their presentation skills. Uh, this is overview. I'm going to talk about a background of the study, previous research, purposes, research questions and hypotheses, methods, findings, uh, pedagogical implications, conclusion. Then I will show you uh, one of my students' videos. Okay. Uh, to acquire presentation skill is one of the English goals in Japanese universities. Presentation skills include verbal communication skills, such as voice control and stress and pause, and nonverbal communication skills, such as eye contact and gesture. Uh, it is difficult to acquire both skills for Japanese students. Therefore, I thought research on how we could improve learners' presentation skill is needed. Although the number of studies on presentation skills in the native language has been increasing, studying on how we can help EFL learners improve their presentation skill in the classrooms have been few. Therefore, I thought more research on how we can develop uh, oral performance in EFL setting is needed. Um, Kliza, uh, Barkev and Lu uh, Luzina, 2009, they explained that Showing learners a model video and the instructor's feedback help them develop presentation skills. Uh, Kanda 2015, she argued that repeating the same task and having learners listen to model English were effective in improving skipping skills. Uh, Toland, Mills and Koyama 2016 mentioned that uh, watching video of learner's performance and self-reflection helped acquire presentation skills. Uh, there are two purposes of the study. The first purpose is to investigate to what degree task repetition with a model video would affect learners' presentation skills. The second purpose is to investigate to what degree the learners' uh, uh, self-reflection would affect their oral performance. Uh, research questions. Uh, first research question is to what degree the task repetition coupled with a model video would affect the learner's oral performance. Hypothesis, task repetition coupled with a model video would help improve the learner's presentation skills. Research question two. To what degree the learner's oral presentation would be affected by self-reflection? Hypothesis. Self-reflection coupled with access to learner's videos and feedback from the instructor would improve their presentation skills. 
uh, participants are 60 Japanese university students aged 19 to 20. I was teaching them in the first semester in 2019. Their English level is categorized as high beginners. Uh, their TOEIC scores are between 470 to 590, which is equivalent to A2 to B1 level in CEPAR. Um, the 60 students were divided into two groups a control group with 30 students. They were instructed to perform two presentations on the same topic to, and, and to fill in the self-reflection sheet and, and the given feedback from the instructor. I experimented group, group with 30 students. They were asked to perform two presentations on the same topic, uh, fill in the a self-reflection sheet and a given feedback from the instructor. Also, they were shown a model video. This is the difference between the control group and experimental group. Uh, this slide shows the participants' presentation skills. I have observed that student presentations for two years and made this chat. Uh, most of the participants were at stages three and four. The students who are at stage three are reading, are still re they are reading their manuscript, but sometimes they look up and look at the audience. Regarding the students who are at the stage four, although they still rely on manuscript, they start to look up and look at the audience. Several students reached at stage five at the second performance. They don't rely on their manuscript and they can convey their messages and look confident and become persuasive. Um, okay. Uh, Two kinds of instrumentation were used. Uh, first, two five minutes oral presentations in pairs. So uh, performance one was given in the six and the seven classes and performance two were given uh, in the 13th and 14th classes. And uh, self-reflection sheet were given after each performance. Uh, this is a procedure. In the second class, they were asked to perform two minutes individual presentation about their favorite. In the sixth and seventh classes, they were asked to perform five minutes pair presentation about a person who is active in the world. Their performances were videotaped using their cell phones. In the eighth class, they were asked to fill in the self-reflection sheet while watching their performance was given feedback from the instructor. Only the experiment group was shown a model video. And the 13th sporting classes was the same as the sixth, sixth and the seventh classes and 15 classes were the same as the eighth class. Uh, this is uh, a presentation criteria. Uh, visual aids and understanding, uh, voice control, clear articulation, stress and pose, eye contact, gesture, content, organization, and time management. One to five skill was used and total points were 50 points. And they were asked to fill in the self-reflection sheet. First item is evaluate your presentation while watching your videotaped performance. Second, what do you notice from the feedback from the instructor? Three, 
what do you think was improved compared to the, the previous performance? Paul, what improvement do you think is needed for the next presentation? Five, how do you want to give your presentation next time? Findings. I hypothesized that task repetition with a module video would help improve comprehension, sorry, presentation skills. Uh, I found that both the control group and the experiment group made increases. However, there was no difference between, uh, there was no significant difference between the two groups. Uh, this table shows the result of the t-test. In the first performance, there was not a significant difference between the control group and the experiment group. Uh, in the second performance, both group, which repeated the same topic, increases their performance. Also in the second performance, there was not a significant difference between the control group and experimental group. This shows that the extra instruction with the model video was not so effective to improve their presentation skills. Moreover, the control group made a significant increase after repeating the same task. However, the experiment group did not make a, a significant increase between the first and second performances. Uh, finding two, I hypothesized that uh, self-reflection coupled with access to the student videos and instructor feedback would improve presentation skills. I found that uh, Self-reflection under the condition of watching a video performance and getting feedback from the instructor can improve learner's oral performance. I observed that instructor feedback will raise learner's consciousness on their performance and lead to better presentations. Uh, here are some comments from the participant reports. Uh, this time I was conscious of eye contact and the instructor gave me better score on it. I'm happy that instructor evaluated highly on the part I made an uh, effort with. Uh, the instructor mentioned I looked confident from my posture even though I couldn't make eye contact. So I noticed that the posture is also important. Um, the instructor's evaluation is different from mine and I can objectively see how I should improve my presentation. Uh, I observed that uh, uh, self-reflection for the, from the videotaped performance would raise learners' consciousness on their performance and lead to self-regulated learning. Here are some examples of the participants' report. Uh, I couldn't make eye contact last time, so I worked on eye contact this time. Compared to the last performance, I did well on the eye contact, gesture, and stress. I memorized my speech so I could look at an audience and speak in a loud voice. I learned if we can use eye contact and gesture effectively, we can make a good performance. Uh, pedagogical implications. One, Repeating the same task will help learners improve their presentation skills. Second, feedback from the instructor can play an important role to improve learners' presentation skills. 
Third, uh, self-reflection coupled with access to learners' recording would raise learners' awareness to learning and lead to self-regulated learning. Uh, this is a conclusion. Uh, repeating the same task and self-reflection coupled with access to learners' recordings and feedback from the instructor can improve learners' uh, English presentation skills in EFL classrooms. Uh, this is difference. And uh, uh, now I will show you the videos of a student and uh, please look at how he improved. Okay. Uh, ask me questions. Uh, now I can see that chat box. Uh, Okay, thank you very much, Makiko. I think um, everyone really enjoyed that. I could already see such a huge improvement in your um, students' presentation skills and confidence. Um, I'd like everyone to invite everyone to maybe turn off your microphones and give a clap, or you can give a virtual clap with the reactions down the bottom. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's open for questions. Does anybody have any questions to ask Makiko? You can unmute yourself or ask them in the chat. We have about two minutes. I have a question. Okay. It's okay? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for the wonderful presentation. And I do teach presentation class at my university. Mm -hmm. And I usually ask, do the same thing, uh, record students presentation and ask students to record their own for reflection. But this year, because of the you know COVID-19, all courses were offered online. So I really couldn't ask students to record their performance. And I couldn't either because of the Wi-Fi connection was weak. Do you have any suggestions if I have to teach this you know presentation class again and online? Nine. Do you have any yeah, suggestions? Uh, this year, I also teach a presentation and let them do a uh, presentation on, on Zoom. The, I can record their presentations. Also, I told them to uh, video t uh, use their cell phone and uh, take videos and then uh, put in a, a dry, one drive so that I can see and also other students can access it. So they have to take their own videos by themselves at home. Well, my, my problem was that the, some students use their own cell phone to get in on Zoom and so they couldn't do any recording. And when I was trying to record my own, my connection wasn't, you know, so I thought maybe somebody knows some kind of different devices or, uh, you know, re recommendations, anybody? <laughs> Can I say something? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. One, one, one thing I do, and that's a common problem we all have these days teaching online, is one thing I've done is when, when I teach presentation skills, I have my students do their presentation in breakout rooms, in small groups, and then I change the groups and they do them again, and then they do them a third time with a different group, and then finally, what I do is, I don't know if you're aware of the app called Flipgrid, which is a presentation app. Then I get my students to record their, to submit their presentation on Flipgrid, which all the other students can uh, see and hear and then comment on. So that means that each presentation students do, they can do maybe two or three times in the lesson and then a final time on Flipgrid. And I find that the students enjoy that and that always, Thank you. always Thank you. on yeah, Flipgrid. Stephen, I don't want to cut that, you off, but we are, our time is up and we have to sorry, get to so the next presentation in this, uh, in this room. But um, I'd like everyone to give uh, another round of applause. Thank you very much.
Thank you. Um, I'm going to stop recording now. And uh,